hey hey hi <laughs> hi guys how are you guys doing hope you guys are well and hope you guys are doing great all right so guys um today's not gonna be a vlog as you guys can already tell by the title i'm going to tell you guys some experience or rather the things i experienced back then when i was in camp and how i went in I, how i went to the camp as well so today's video i think if i can tell the whole story all together i'm going to split it into two okay it's gonna be like two sections but if i can't tell the whole story at once then i will tell the remaining story or the other part of the story next time all right so let's get right into this video let me put on my light i don't know i think it's way better with the light okay all right guys so i had to quickly grab this red bull this energy drink you guys know i've been drinking these lately um it really helps like it gives me the energy that i want <laughs> But anyway, so uh, we're gonna go straight to this video before some people come for me and say go straight to the point go straight to the point So the whole story started when I Landed Germany, of course. I landed Germany August 26 or 27 midnight. Okay, I'll say 26 stroke 27 because I landed um, Munich at midnight, okay, luckily for us there was someone that um was waiting to receive us and all of that and mind you i was not in that journey alone so i had some friends with me and all of that so which actually made me didn't really feel lonely living where i was before i don't know if that makes sense i'm going to get to re the reason i'm talking about this right now so um we stayed at the person's house the person that received us we stayed there for like I think two days no it was just for the weekend friday saturday sunday yeah then monday we went straight to the camp this person that um received or, or received us already know where we should go so all the person did was just to give us a description and all of that and we went straight to camp to this actual address so when we got there uh, first of all we went to somewhere we had to do some registration which was not the actually camp I think that was where you're supposed to go to when you're you know new in Germany and something like that so we went there we did some registration there were a lot like a lot of people so we spent a night there we, <laughs> we spent a night there then the next day they took us to another place i think i would say another town or city where we stayed for another one week there they did the proper registration your information photo passport you know all those things just for identity sake you understand so they did all of that and we stayed there for one week the experience there was pretty interesting but one thing that uh, made it a bit sad for me i would say because i hate it when i don't have money to spend oh jesus when i don't have money to spend especially when i am in need of something it makes me really feel frustrated so that was the only problem i had in that first camp i'll call that first camp the place was pretty nice well made i don't know if it was newly made it was clean like it was not like it wasn't like a camp camp it was like a building i, I don't know how to explain it. it was like a newly uh a newly built house or something like that so the way everything was there the way everything was in that actual camp i'm still talking about munich okay it was really clean nice conducive you know guys like i like where they shine where they white white <laughs> But anyways we stayed there for like um one week and then they from there they transferred us i think we were on a on eight hour journey on the bus or something like that i, I can't really remember to cut the whole story of this camp thing short they were just transferring us from one place to another from one place to another before we got to the exact place where we stayed for one two weeks or one month I, i'm not sure if we stayed up to one month because i landed germany in august in september i was already in um in the city that i'm living currently that i'm living in currently so i'll say 
in all of the, my days in camp, I spent one month there about. When we got to this actual camp where we spent two weeks, I can't remember the city name because everything was just bizarre there because, to be honest, I can't remember. But I know it was close to Vupata because then we do go to church in Vupata. We went to church twice. In this camp, when you get there, you're also going to start doing the registration, the filling up form and all of that. Um, so we did, after we did, they'll give you your, the nest, the things you will need, like towel, like um, toothpaste, toothbrush, all of those things that you would need to feel comfortable, you know, blankets, bed cover and all of those things. So in this actual camp, so I think twice a week or three times, twice a week though, they'll call you to come get some clothes, shoes and all of that. So. We we're doing all that and there is a specific routine guys like when you, you need to go for your breakfast your lunch and dinner my favorite time in that camp was the lunch oh my god lunch there are different types types of meal you know you just have fun and have we i would say i had a good time because actually it was really warming me up and preparing me for what up next you understand you know living in germany oh before <laughs> before we went to this actual camp there is one funny incident that happened i just remember right now so we were at the train station it was very early in the morning it was like a 6 6 a.m or something like that everybody was just running to catch up with train the ones that are running to catch up with bus are catching i'm like what is this you know i'm like so is this how is this the life i'm going to be living now i was just wondering about that i was just thinking of that in my head i think i even had to ask my friend i was like e, not so you won't be <laughs> not so you won't be you understand because it was really really like totally different from where i was coming from you understand so back to the camp they had um uh classes for us for learning dodge if i had knew by then considering what is happening to me right now if i had knew by then i would have taken those classes seriously and monday to friday there are classes for um german courses you understand i never took anyone seriously to be honest i can count how many times if i even attended up to three times i don't know if i had knew they would have taken that course seriously they took us to hospital to do checks you know a lot of tests including pregnancy tests including they checked our ribs our heartbeat the um, our head you know like they did a lot of things in this actual checkup i'm talking about that was where they gave us our yellow um doctor card i don't know if you, you guys should know what i'm talking about the yellow card you take to the doctor whenever you visit the doctor so that was where we got it at the first time and in this camp as well that was where they introduced us to these um payment of a thing so after some days they they cut everyone out everyone stood on the line and the next thing i saw one person went inside and came out jubilating happy oh they give me they give us money they give us money we're like oh really because then when when, when you are just in that camp you actually do not know what is going on when they call you for anything you don't know what it is you just have to go go experience it see it for yourself that is it so they were giving us this um this money to just uh, keep up in case you have something to buy for yourself or something like that i remember the first one i got i used it to buy one white sneakers hmm. unfortunately it's no longer with me because that sneakers follow me completely <laughs> another experience again that i don't want to forget is it also got to a time in this same camp that I'm, I'm telling you guys about so they called us everyone in the camp of course into the office they gave us some injection i think on our arm right here which to be honest we do not even know what it is i think afterwards they were like they started um explaining to us that it's immunization something something we're like we don't do uh, we don't do uh, we don't know <laughs> To be honest, you know, all of these things you need to be, you need to have idea of what they are. But at a point, at a time when you are in that situation, you honestly do not have idea about, except you have someone 
who's gonna give you information or who has already given you information and the only reason you have to believe those information is either those person those people experience those things or learning about it can also be complicated but it's better it's better to trust people that experienced it because anybody can just come up with any story and boom misinformation is spreading everywhere you understand so they give us that injection and later people were saying it's immunization injection blah 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 because we are new in the country so they have to give us blah 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 and all of that so we did all of that and it got to the final day the last day we had to leave to be honest when we're leaving because we were already feeling comfortable in that place to be honest we we're already feeling comfortable so when it got to when we had to leave that was when they had to separate me and my friends all right so because they were family and i was alone like single you understand so because i was single my di my direction was different and because they are family or partners their direction was different direction or destination anyways destination was different so that was ah, jesus i said that day was when i felt oh you are alone you are alone in this now like i felt really really lonely i felt i was got me really emotional that day i remember i was in the bus because they uh, transported everybody you know that are going to the same um destination in one bus and the other people in a different bus you understand so um when i was in the bus i was just thinking oh my god now the life begin oh now now the life begin you understand so they took us to this other camp we did this other i, I would just be calling everything camp so we did some registration we stayed for a few hours then they pff, transfer us to another camp where we stayed for um three days this other camp was so huge i haven't seen a place like that before it's so it looks like a factory so huge super huge and believe me you that camp was filled with people so we stayed there for like um three three days or so before they not transported us transport <laughs> before they not transferred us to the city that i am now so when they took us to the the hotel because where we were living was a hotel very nice beautifully well made hotel you understand back then though i'm about to be six years in germany so more than five years ago like five years ago the building was really 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 nice i really liked it even though the first weeks of being in that place was really emotional for me i was really lonely i felt i felt left alone i would say so and so my life they begin oh, for gem new and so my life they begin i would say my experience in that hotel as well wasn't bad because i had to share a huge room because i was single you know i had to share a huge room with other five ladies other single ladies so we were like six in one room everybody gets their shrunk they call it shrunk um like a it's not wardrobe there's a way they make it but they just made everything comfortable for you to be honest they'll give you your your kitchen utensils everything but everyone is using like due to the way the hotel the hotel i was living because it was it's really not was it's huge because it's still in existence so the hotel is huge so i we the single ladies we were on the low single ladies <laughs> we were on the uh, the last like the first floor we will have to use the kitchen and everything that is on the um the first floor so the people on the second floor everyone has to use the kitchen and toilet and everything that is on the second floor that's how everyone had to use it so we were there i was there for as long as i was there before i met Heber's father so uh, my experience there my experience there i would say was pretty interesting was eye-opening it also showed me how to cope even though i would say all my life i would say i've been alone like alone in the sense i've been my own woman i will call it but are you okay that is how i got to the camp and got to the final place that i was before i met herbert's father yeah this is basically it and yeah what do you guys think i also like to know your experience i would like to know how you guys started up in in 
wherever you are all right so i understand some of us have or had same experience why some are different even though we live in same or different countries but i would like to know your experience as well if you're comfortable sharing it in the comment section so this is it for this please do let me know your thought in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe if you're here for the first time or rather you've been watching but you just haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button and join this growing family right here check out my beauty channel delia's empire you can also check me out on instagram at delia's empire also my business page on instagram at delia's brand so yeah um this is basically it guys but well, just in case you like this hair i'm wearing right now this is a wig by she's a money she's a money hair i will have a link to our website in the description so go check it out guys guys like i've been rocking her hair collection for god knows how long now and it's like all of the hairs are amazing they've not disappointed disappointed me a bit so go check them out and they are affordable as well so this is basically it for this and i will see you guys in my next one until next time guys watch out for the year's vlog